All right, we are live. Okay, I'm live. Hi, everybody. We'll wait for some people to join. Um, okay, I've never done this before, but um, hi, how's everyone doing? Okay, um, I'm live on both Instagram and YouTube. So hi, YouTube. Hi, Instagram. Hope everyone's having an amazing day. Um, so this is going to be a little different because we're like live on, on, on two... Um, Two platforms. Hello. Hi, how's everyone doing? Um, but I have some... Oh, hi, Kian. Okay, so we, I have some leftover pasta dough. Um, if you guys saw the collab with Kian, this is it right here. So uh, let's roll it out. And I was like, oh, this would be so cool to do on a live. All right, get to talk to you guys as well. Um, hi, how's everyone doing? Hi from Switzerland. Hello. Um, let's get started. So... We have our ball of dough that I just went ahead and cut a piece out and like sort of rolled it out with a rolling pin. I'll show you guys how to do that later. Crack an egg on my head. Uh, I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna roll it through the seven attack through the seven settings. Um, probably down to two, but yeah, let's fold this in on itself. Um, this just helps build up the gluten too. Hello. Oh, happy birthday, Elliot. For skiing. That video was filmed a few days ago. Just pass it through. So right now it's on number seven, which is like the thickest setting, but we're gonna work our way uh, down to like the second thinnest setting, which is like number two. What's everyone doing? Hi. I yeah, hope everyone's doing well. Hello. Okay. Just a little flour so it doesn't stick. Roll it through each setting probably like one or two times. Um, just to make sure it's, it's nice and thin. Hello. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Love your videos. Thank you. That shirt's like covered in flour now. It's one of the, the great downsides of pasta making. But I feel like pasta making is always like, it's great, right? Here you go. It's kind of weird. Hi. Hello. number three. It's starting to get thinner. Longer, too. Um, yeah. I feel like making fresh pots is always, like, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. It's, like, it's it's very rare that I, that I use this pasta machine. Um, surprisingly. So, I should probably make some more homemade pasta. That's what I'm doing. So I think that's thin enough for like a fettuccine. Maybe we can pass it through one more time. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna cut it in half. That way it doesn't like fold on, on top of itself. And then we'll run it through the fettuccine attachment. Yeah, but this is cool. I'm like, I'm live on, on, on both. Actually, I'll run it through the number one setting. This is cool because I'm I'm live on both Instagram and YouTube, so it's like, do I always use fresh pasta or store bought pasta? Um, I usually use yeah dried store bought pasta. I try to get the really high quality ones from like Italy, um, made in Italy, or like there's this really cool like Italian grocery store, um, in LA, um, and so I'll get some pasta from them too, but um. Yeah, most of the time it's just dried sort of pasta. Cool. Um, I'm gonna run it through the fettuccine attachment. So, relatively thin, right? You can almost see my hand through there. Sort of. It's a lot better in person, but um, 
yeah, I, I rarely use fresh pasta when it comes to, like, on a day-to-day -day basis, or, like, even for a cooking video. But I always feel like making the, the, the fresh stuff is always good. I use these, like, really dark egg yolks. It's, like, almost like an orangey dough. Right. Cool. A little bit of flour. Toss, toss, toss. And that's like a portion of pasta. You want to flour it a lot because it's gonna, it's gonna stick if you don't. Right. So we'll run this through. Did I compete in Master Chef Junior? I didn't, and um, I wanted to, but apparently I'm too old. You have to be like thirteen. You you can't be older than thirteen, and I am older than thirteen, so can't do that. Um. Maybe when I'm 18, we'll do like the, the actual Master Chef. Oh, maybe Chop Junior. All right, cool. Let's roll this piece of pasta out. Squish it down, and then I like to like roll it out. And at the same time, we'll take some flour. Flour it. By the way, guys, I'm gonna start posting more long form uh, videos. So if you guys want to see those, um, YouTube for sure. Hi, Natalie. How's it going? My hands are like f covered in flour. Um, so that would be fun to roll out some pasta here. Um, Thank you. Oh, I just realized my whole shirt's like covered in flour. That that did that that did not help at all. Okay. Um, let's, let's do this. I hope like covered in flour. I made some waffles today for a video, so that should be out sometime. Um, if you guys were here for the last Instagram live, I showed you guys like the blue chicken. That video is going to be out in like probably next week or so, but i have kind of been a little behind on those long form videos, but I'm going to get started into it because like I feel like long form is like, it, it, it's also more fun to, more fun to like explain everything in detail rather than you know just quick like boom 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 like there's there's the recipe you know but by the way um i also have a recipe website so if you guys like are interested in like the full recipe like with measurements and everything it's um my username dot com like nikoq.com so it's also in my bio so you guys can like for sure check that out not touch the shirt. Yeah, no, I, I had to get a paper towel. Um, cause like my hands are covered in flour, but yeah. Let's see. Yeah, just rolling out pasta. I mean, nothing like, nothing too interesting, but um, yeah. Thanks Toby, not for sure. Um, when you click on the recipe, it might show like, um, if you want to purchase it, but there's a button that I put there that's like you can purchase it for zero dollars. Um, and I'll just ask for your email, just so you get a link to the to, to the website um, or to the recipe, to the purchase recipe. But like it's it's free. Um, but if you guys want to donate, you know, uh, feel free. But you don't have to. Um, so that button's just there it's, as like a donation based button. Um, So right about now, I'm gonna add a little bit more flour. Run it through the thinnest setting. Sometimes you, you, you'll have to play around with the thickness, but you, you might have to roll it through a setting like two to three times. Um, or sometimes just once, you know, depending on how 
hydrated your dough is, depending on how thin, thin or thick it is. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just cut this in half too. That way it's more manageable size. It's not like a long noodle, you know? Um, yeah. Um, thank you. Oh, thanks, Luca. Yeah, that collab was really fun. Um, and I'm sure most of you guys already know about Kian, but if you don't, I just recently did a collab with him, definitely go check him out. Um, we may or may not have another video coming out soon. Yeah, sorry, I can't do that. Um, we'll, run, we'll run this to the fettuccine attachment. Through. You wanna flour it really generously. Like, flour it really generously. That way it doesn't stick. And then we'll let it just dry up on the cutting board here. So, yeah. Thanks, son. Yeah, I, I I try to pick up some interesting things too, and I feel like I feel like you guys really like the live seafood series, I like that that sort of thing. So. so 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 let me know like if you guys want to see more of that live seafood stuff, definitely go. We have a nice seafood market um, that I always go to 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 buy those sort of things. We're almost through the dough. We're like halfway there. Um, how did I learn to cook? Um, I learned to cook a little bit for my grandma and also like YouTube, Gordon Ramsay videos, for sure. Um, am I making pasta? Yeah, I'm rolling out fresh pasta. I'm not gonna cook any today, but I'm, I'm for sure going to uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not rolling out, I'm not cooking any pasta, but I'm just rolling it out today. Just because I had some leftover pasta dough from uh, from the video we filmed. So. Oh, 15. Uh, thank you. I'm rolling out fresh pasta. Yeah. Um, so, just rolling out some fresh pasta dough that we have. Oh, that's like really thick. Okay. Kneading dough is like the, the chef's workout. <laughs> no, I feel like that and like whipping heavy cream, like by hand like really gets your arms really sore yeah for sure this is whenever I've been cooking uh, thank you I've been cooking for about a little over five years now but obviously like when I first started I was I was terrible um, and I'm still learning so do I have Insta? Yeah, I have Insta. It's, um, uh, for those watching on YouTube, I have an Instagram. It's the, the same. I'm actually live there right now. Uh, same username as YouTube. Hey, how's everyone doing? Rolling out pasta. My whole shirt's covered in flour again. Okay. For those of you just joining, like, if I'm looking at a different screen, um, uh, we're live on, on both Instagram and YouTube, so kind of like switching out between the two, two chats here. Um, hi. Pasta. Hey, Will. Pasta. Who doesn't like pasta, right? It's great. I, f 
from Italy. Hi. Italy, home of pasta. Run it through. I like to flour the sheet a little bit. Um, so it doesn't stick to the pasta roller. And uh, this dough is a lot less hydrated. Well, it's been resting for like three days. So it's, it's pretty hydrated, but it's not as hydrated as other doughs that I've rolled through. Like when it's too hydrated and you let it rest for too long. Uh, what's up with the flour on my arm? Oh. Um, yeah, the flour gets everywhere when you roll out pasta. I like to do anything with flour, to be honest. But, you know, it's, it's the fun of it, right? What type of flour can you use to make pasta? So, for this one, we use all-purpose. But I, I also use double O flour. Uh, double zero flour. Which is, like, it's a lot finer. Um, honestly, honestly, and, and some people are going to hate me for this, but I don't see much of a difference. Like, when it comes to, like, if you're just like making like pasta quickly, like I'm sure it's a lot smoother um, and, and stuff, but like for the average home cook, like if you don't have double zero flour, like don't, don't stress over it. Yeah. Do I use gluten-free flour? Uh, I don't. Like, like not for pasta at least. Um, but if you guys want to see some gluten-free recipes, let me know. I can definitely do that. Okay, and I'm gonna run it through. Fettuccine attachment. We're making all this into fettuccine, but we also have the spaghetti attachment here. I probably shouldn't run my finger through there. Don't do that at home. <laughs> and just like, it cuts it out perfectly, right? And so you don't, have, you don't have to do all that, have to have that sharp knife and be really delicate with it. So, am I from LA? know me from cooking with Kian. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, we did a pretty cool video. You met Mr. Beast? Nice. Yeah, it's like one of the people I want to meet, like on the on the on the list of like celebrities. Mr. Beast. Um, heard he's a really cool dude, though, like, in person. So, yeah. Fortunately for me, he wasn't at VidCon, but maybe he'll be there next year, right? Thanks, Mary. Hello. Keep rolling out this pasta. I don't know what I'm gonna make with this pasta yet. I was thinking of like, so apparently, and I learned this from like a, a Italian pasta class and some like pasta chefs, that it's like, it's considered a huge no-no to, to put um, to put chicken in pasta, so, um, like authentically. And so I didn't know that, right? But like chicken alfredo is a huge like Americanized thing. So, yeah, I, I, I try not to, but I, I was thinking of doing, like, something with, like, chicken in this. So, to those Italians over there, I'm sorry. I really am. But maybe, like, oh, we have, like, some chopped green beans. Oh, okay, probably shouldn't have done that. So I have like some chopped green beans and maybe we can make that into like some sort of green sauce or something like a pesto like sauce. Make spaghetti. We, oh, we have the spaghetti attachment. Okay, I'll um, yeah, we'll use the spaghetti attachment just so you guys can, can see it too. Oh, I ran it through the number one attack. Oh, okay. I forgot to change it. My bad. Okay, we'll just run it through the different attachments again and again. I was like, I was wondering why it was so hard to crank it. Probably should have floured it too. I'm good. How are you?
Hello? What's everyone doing? So we'll cut this in half again. So we don't have like a really long pasta noodle. Um, have I met Gordon Ramsay? Not yet. Would love to meet him though. So if any of you guys know Gordon Ramsay, send me a DM. <laughs> I, I have his like hex clad pans though, so. It's always nice, right? Hello? What am I making? I'm just rolling out some fresh pasta. Hey, Anton. How's it going? I haven't, I, I haven't met Gordon Ramsay yet, but would love to. Okay, my whole sh shirt is like covered in flour and it looks like, it looks worse in person, but it's fine. Um, yeah. Hi from France, hello. You don't work on my French. Have, have I ever been to Italy before? I haven't, but um, maybe soon. I'm gonna try out like so many different types of pasta or like visit a Parmigiano Reggiano farm. Just run it through the spaghetti attachment. Okay, I'm gonna set this pasta machine off aside because like we're done with it. So let me go and set this off aside real quick. Put it on the table back here. Oh my god, I'm like shirt sure is covered in flour. Hi. Hi, how's everyone doing? Yoki Tori guy. Hello. Like Oh, my bad. Hi. Nick D. Giovanni or Gordon Ramsay? Both. Both. They're they're both great. But like Nick did learn from Gordon Ramsay, so he's like how'd you go, right? Because yeah, Nick was on MasterChef. So yeah, that's like so that's like what a spaghetti's gonna look like. Right? So spaghetti and then something like fettuccine, right? So it's a lot thicker, like wider. Um, it's always fun. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, food will do that to you. <laughs> Buy Osmo. Oh, how did I get, okay. Um, yeah, so like Osmo always sends out salts and stuff. So it's, it's always cool. I have a code with them if you guys want to get something, but yeah, Osmo, really nice. Um, what am I making? I just rolled out some pasta. I mean, I don't really have any plans for this. What is my favorite Osmo salt? Probably the roasted garlic, although all of their flavors are really good, but I, I find myself using the flaky white a lot more. It's because it's like more of like your everyday salt. I have like so much flour everywhere. Okay. Nice. I need to cook something with that fresh pasta dough. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I. I have a whole, you have a whole video with this with Kian. Like we made this like Wagyu steak pasta. Um, you can substitute the Wagyu with like regular steak and you can like for sure make it at home. Like it doesn't have to be A5. Um, do I have a favorite video game? Not really. I used to play Minecraft. <laughs> um, yeah, but I don't find myself playing video games as much anymore. Um, let me get a bowl for this. Um, probably down here, yeah. Hello? Alright, so.
so I'm gonna toss it generously with flour, like generously with flour, because you don't want it to stick. Like over time, it, it, it will eventually stick, so you wanna use it ideally the same day that you roll it out. Right, and so like, have like a pasta party. Have I ever marinated a steak in mayonnaise? Well, I know that's you. But yeah, yeah, you you were there, you were there. We we covered an A5 Wagyu steak in mayo. It's, yeah, it's not my proudest moment. But I mean, it, it surprisingly turned out pretty good. It's like, you guys see that like seared in mayo trend that went around a while ago? Kind of like that, it's just, we let it sit for a little extra. Yeah, I'll just mix all this pasta together. Um, how many languages can I speak? I'll go with two. Technically, I can speak a little bit of Japanese. I just, I'm not that great at it. But um, fluently, like full, full fluent too. Why am I making pasta? I had some leftover dough. Um, and we'll just store this one separately. But yeah, this is this is gonna be cool for sure. Like making fresh pasta is always so much fun. Um, what's my favorite dish to make? Anything with steak, really. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, I mean it's it's always fun to to cook and get to play around with all these amazing ingredients. Um, sneak peek into a future video. It's Copper River salmon season. So we, so we got some salmon in the mail. Like this morning. So that's gonna be really fun, for sure. Um, I'm like covered in flour. But like, I don't know if you can tell, but like my whole shirt is like covered in flour. Um, but that's fun. Also, it's Amazon Prime Day. So Amazon Prime Day, is, it, it's going to be cool. Um, there's gonna be like so many sales. For sure, like, check out my story, my Instagram stories. Do I like listening to music while I cook? Um, yes, but at the same time, like, I do a lot of filming, too, so it's, like, try to keep everything as quiet as possible. But for sure, um, do I have something planned in my next video? Uh, let's see, so my next video... It's going to be something with salmon, for sure. Thanks. What's up? Hello from Germany. Hi. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, let's move this up a little bit. So I'm not looking directly down, but... Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, th this was cool. It's always... I know I've said this like a hundred times. So much fun to go on live. So I'm gonna try to do this like a like a weekly or bi-weekly thing, you know. It's, it's always fun to, to do this. Cooking something sweet. Um watermelon sorbet. Uh, I know we talked about this last Instagram live, but watermelon sorbet um is going to be like something that that, that we're gonna make soon. The next video it's gonna be one of the steak experiment videos where we marinate it in something. But this one's not too crazy, like, um, yeah, this one's not, this one isn't anything like real crazy, but it's like, it's one of those ingredients that I feel pair well with protein. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a lot. Like, um, steak is for sure getting expensive. Always look out for deals though. Um, like my grocery store uh, a few months back. No, actually it's been almost a year now, but I once got a 10 pound ribeye roast for like less than like $35, which I thought was like, it was a steal choice grade. Hey, Spaceman Knives, how's it going? Um, saw the collab with Max, yeah. Yeah, we did that a while ago. That was, that was fun too. Um, let me know who, who you guys want to see collab with. Um, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. 
Um, I haven't. I have I ever marinated in pickle juice? I have. Okay, so technically I have. Like a lot of the the fried chicken marinade is like buttermilk and pickle juice, but that's for chicken. But I'm sure that would be something really good to do in like one of those steak experiment videos. I feel like someone's already done that before though. Is that like Google Foods that did that? Dream collab. Nick Di Giovanni. Nick, if you want to do a collab, let's 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 do it for sure. Um so it's always cool to meet other creators too, so collab with Elon Musk. Wow. Did you guys see that whole like TikTok thing um, where this creator like camped outside to get a hug with Elon Musk. He camped out for like almost, what was it, like three months? I don't know, e Elon seems like a hard person to get a hold of, but it's always cool. Hello. Hey, Kyle. Key and collab was fire. Thank you. Yeah. Um, sorry to hear that, man. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, that was posted like two days ago, though. So th that was that was really fun. Hello. Yeah, for sure. It's like it's, it's always cool, right? To to meet fellow creators, creator friends. Um. Okay, so if you guys have any questions or anything like you guys want me to answer, for uh, feel free to put it like r on Instagram, like right here, on YouTube, just the chat. Um, probably gonna stay on for a few more minutes, but then like pretty much done here. So, um, yeah, I mean, let's do it. Um, okay. I don't know, do I? <laughs> Thank you. Um, hi. Haven't done, okay, haven't done like a really long Instagram live in a while, so this is, this is always fun. I'm gonna talk to you guys. Um, YouTube, this is my first like actual live in like seven months, I think. So if you guys wanna see more of this, YouTube, Comment down below. <laughs> um, let's see. I almost had a flower. I just used all purpose flour today. I, I ran out of double zero flour. So I'm sorry to like the, the pasta making enthusiasts. They're like double zero flour is a must, but like, I went to three grocery stores and they didn't have double zero flour. Um, we cook with my family. Maybe someday. I just, a little camera shy, you know? Um, yeah, so this is, it's for sure gonna be fun. Um, We'll, we'll, we'll do some more fun things during the summer. Um, we still have like a month left of summer, so stay tuned. I mean, Instagram stories is where I usually post like my day-to-day -day things or like any events we do. So YouTube, if you don't follow me on Instagram or Instagram, if you don't follow me yet, or if like this just popped up on your feed, um, hit that follow button. What's my favorite meal? I like a really good steak. And it doesn't have to be Wagyu or anything, because I feel like Wagyu after a few bites, it starts to feel really heavy. Something with like steak and maybe like roasted garlic potatoes. Amazing. Love my videos, thank you. Ever watched Breaking Bad? I haven't watched Breaking Bad. Um. But yeah, this is, this was fun. Um, I don't know, we kind of finished up the pasta. Oh, I made waffles today. So that video should be out sometime. 
Oh, we also have, uh, we did a review. I don't know if, I don't know if Will's still on here. He was like on here for a minute. Is he still here? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, Will is on the, um, so if you guys don't know my friend William, he like, we, we did the Whole Foods video together. Um, and he's also appeared in like the Feastables review. We may or may not be doing a review with more Feastables and that should be out soon. I'm like, I'm, I'm a little behind on like posting. Oh, okay, he's on, he's on both. Nice, okay. Um, so yeah, and then we did a Prime review too, so that should be out soon, right? Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, that, that, that should be really fun. It's always fun. Um, Oh yeah, I also started this series where we're doing like exotic meats. So like that blue chicken is gonna be one of them. Um, I don't know if I would consider duck to be exotic though. And like not exotic in a way where like, oh, it's like never before seen. Cause like a lot of people eat the blue chicken too, or the silky chicken. But it's like, it's there, it's gonna be like meats or like proteins that like on a regular like day-to-day -day, like you wouldn't see here in like in like LA or something like like something that most people haven't heard of right um so yeah might do stuff like that I was also thinking like quail but quail isn't like it's not too exotic either um so that's gonna be fun do I like durian? Oh, it, um, so if you guys know Janelle Eats, I did a little appearance in her durian ramen video where I tried it. it, it okay, it was okay. Um, it, it, it was really creamy and it was, it, it was kind of cheesy, which kind of threw me off. Um, but yeah. Um, so it, so, so it was, it was different for sure. Um, but yeah. It, it was okay. I, I wouldn't like, I wouldn't, I, I think if I tried it by itself, it would, it would be really, um, it would be different. It has a really garlicky uh, taste though. Is this something I want to cook bad? I don't know. Collab with Chef Scott, maybe. Um, okay. Well, we've been on here for like 38 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and end the live. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Instagram, YouTube, thank you. Um, I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll do something like this again. Thank you all so much for watching, and, uh, I will see you all in the next video. Or the ne ne uh, sorry, in the next live. Alright, bye everyone. Alright, so bye to Instagram. And, uh, goodbye YouTube.